Are you having problem while playing Battlefield or any bruh, other game bruh, bruh, and you bruh, see bruh. this error <laughs> popping out and are you are tired? Are you actually thinking that it's a person? Well, there's not. Excuse me, bitch. Because it's a bot. Or is it? Today I'm going to tell you how to fix this issue. How to fix the punk buster issue in Battlefield or any other game that you are having trouble with. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> Hello and welcome back, this is Korva GD and today I'm gonna tell you how to fix this punk buster problem permanently. Time to get serious. Okay, so first off, you have to go to the main website of punk buster. I'm gonna put the link in the description as always. So it's just you have to go to the punk buster and you have to download the PB setup, okay? After you're in this window, you have to download the for all windows, of course, the operating system which you're using. So after you've done that, you will see the PUB setup in your downloaded folder. Now extract it and you will see this uh, file over here. Okay, now after you have opened that, uh, just make sure you have the punk buster up to date. Just make sure, just just do that. Just okay, just do, do that. It. Yeah, thank you. After you've done that, you have to click on add a game. Now you have to search for the game which you're having troubles with. I'm going to click on Battlefield 4. Yeah, of course, why not? Okay, now after you've done that, you have to search for the... Uh, just make sure you have the installation folder correctly, okay? Uh, yes, just make sure. Okay, it's important. Yes, yeah, you can click on browse and add a game. After you've done that, I, I won't add it because I already have it on my list. Oh my god, what the... Stop. Okay, thank you. Now, I already have it on my list, so... Yes, just do that, okay? It won't do anything. It will take a minute. So... <clears throat> After you've done that, just go to the search and go to D uh, Windows Defender Firewall, okay? After you're there, you can click on uh, Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Okay, click on that. Now you have to search for the Punk Buster file. Punk Busters, yeah, there we go. You'll see these files over here, Punk Buster A, B. Okay, now you have to, if you, just make sure you have the green ticks over here. If you don't see it, then you can click on Change Settings and you can do for all of these and click on OK. If you don't see these punk buster files at all, then it's quite simple. You have to go to the Steam folder. Now you have to go to the installation folder where you have the Battlefield. Now you will see this file. Just click on it, run it, and click on it, and this window will pop up. It will say install, reinstall punk buster servers. You have to click on next and click on I agree. And it will run some tests over here, click on next. Okay, test completed successfully with that error, okay. Now you have to click on okay, click on finish, okay. Now, now this is the third option. Now you have to go to Windows Defender Firewall again. You have to go, go to advanced settings, okay. Now you have to go for inbound rules. You have to yeah, just click on names here. Now you have to search for the punk buster files which we found here earlier. Uh yeah, there we go. Now you have to click on properties, program and services and click on this uh, option all program that meet the specified condition. Do that for every single file here, the punk buster files. Now uh, if you don't see the file over here, if you don't see this file over here, then don't worry. Go to Steam here. Now go to Battlefield Properties and search for if uh, search for local files. Then you have to verify the game files. So sometimes it's just the Battlefield 4 is uh, missing some files. So all the files has been corrupted, so it will download some files. You don't have to worry about that. Now, if it validates successfully, then you have to launch the game. And just like when you install a new game and it will uh, do the setups, like it, it will install Origin and it will look at Origin if you already have it installed. And it will, after that, after the install installation of Origin, it will look at for the Punk Buster and you have to do the setup of Punk Buster as well. Don't worry, it will pop up by itself. And just like the uh, when the new game launches, you have to do the setup. And 
then after stun you will see the five year the punk buster v svc i did it myself pers uh, personally i did that and it worked now for the origin people who are using origin who bought the game on origin so just do that whatever i did and you have to verify the game files too from origin just like i did on steam and it should work so yeah uh, if you're still having group problems uh you can let me know in the comments below and yes thanks for watching and i will see you guys later